Welcome back Math Grizz. Today we will learn how to figure out whether a number is prime or composite. A prime number is a number that only has the factors 1 and itself. For example, the number 7. The only way to get the number 7 is to do 7 times 1. There's no other numbers you can multiply together to get 7. On the other hand, a composite number is a number that has more factors than just itself and 1. For example, the number 30. Yeah, you can do 30 times 1 equals 30, but you can also do 5 times 6 equals 30 and 10 times 3 equals 30. The first thing we need to know is that 1 is neither prime nor composite. The only way to get the number 2 is to do 2 times 1 equals 2. There's no other way, so 2 is prime. The only way to get 3 would be by doing 3 times 1 equals 3. There's no other possible way to get the answer of 3, which means that 3 is also prime. To get 4, we can do 4 times 1 equals 4, but we can also do 2 times 2 equals 4, which means that there's more than just 4 by itself, and that means that 4 is actually composite. To get 5, we can do 5 times 1 equals 5, and that's it, so 5 is prime. 6 times 1 equals 6, but I can also think of 3 times 2 equals 6. Since there's more ways to get 6, 6 is composite. The only way to get 7 is 7 times 1, so 7 is prime. 8 times 1 equals 8, but also 4 times 2 equals 8. Since there's more than just 8 by itself equals 8, that means that 8 is composite. 9 times 1 equals 9, but also 3 times 3 equals 9. That means that 9 is composite. 10 times 1 equals 10, but 5 times 2 also equals 10. That means that 10 is composite. 11 times 1 equals 11, and there's no other possible way to get 11, so 11 is prime. 12 times 1 equals 12, but so does 6 times 2 equals 12. And so does 3 times 4 equals 12. That means that 12 is definitely composite. 13 times 1 equals 13. And there's no possible way to get 13. So 13 is prime. 14 times 1 equals 14. But 7 times 2 also equals 14. So 14 is composite. 15 times 1 equals 15, but 5 times 3 also equals 15, so 15 is composite. 16 times 1 equals 16, but 4 times 4 also gives you 16, so 16 is composite. The only way to get 17 is 17 times 1 equals 17, so 17 is prime. 18 times 1 equals 18. 6 times 3 is also 18. And 9 times 2 is also 18, which makes 18 composite. 19 times 1 equals 19. And there's no other way to get 19, so 19 is prime. 20 times 1 equals 20. 5 times 4 also equals 20 and 10 times 2 is also 20, which means that 20 is composite. 21 times 1 equals 21, but you can also do 7 times 3 equals 21. That means 21 is composite. 22 times 1 equals 22, but so does 11 times 2 also equals 22. So 22 is composite. 23 times 1 equals 23. So 23 is prime. 24 times 1 equals 24. 6 times 4 equals 24. 
8 times 3 equals 24, and 12 times 2 is also 24. So 24 is composite. 25 times 1 equals 25, 5 times 5 equals 25, so 25 is composite. 26 times 1 equals 26, but 13 times 2 is also 26. That means that 26 is composite. 27 times 1 equals 27, and 9 times 3 is also 27. That means that 27 is composite. 28 times 1 equals 28. 7 times 4 equals 28, so 28 is composite. 29 times 1 equals 29, that means that 29 is prime. 30 times 1 equals 30, 6 times 5 equals 30, 10 times 3 is also 30. That means that 30 is composite. 31 times 1 equals 31. And there's no other way, so 31 is prime. 32 times 1 equals 32, and 8 times 4 equals 32, so 32 is composite. Alright, Math Gris, you get the point. You can go ahead and fast forward or quickly watch the rest. Now we know the rest of the tens, like 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 are definitely composite because you can multiply them by 10 and a number. The rest of the numbers that end in twos, fours, sixes, and eights can definitely be split in half, which means you can multiply a number by two to get them. Thank you so much for watching Math Grizz, and remember, never stop growling.